beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go, take a look in the five and ten, missing it once again, with candy canes and silver lanes aglow. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Toys in every store. But the prettiest sight to see is the holly that will be on your old front door. A pair Give me a minute to hear that whole damn song. What's going on? I haven't done an After Dark edition for quite some time. Uh, pretty good weekend sales that I didn't ship yesterday, so... Uh, definitely have to get her some done tonight, otherwise I will be screwed tomorrow. And there's a few other lives going on right now, too, so. A whole lot of damn postcards sold. Yeah, that's what I'm doing here, too, pretty much. <laughs> uh, if I wait, I'll be super overwhelmed tomorrow. It was, it was a pretty damn good weekend, though. And uh, Yesterday could have been a little better. It would have been a lot better if one of the people who purchased actually paid yesterday. I had a really nice sale, a bunch of cabinet cards, like 12 of them, $300 sale with one postcard along with it. So um, if they had also paid yesterday, it would have been an awesome day, but they paid today, which... Basically made today the awesome day. Without that sale today, it would be okay. No complaints though. I've basically got all my orders pulled up until now, so that is really the thing that takes the most amount of time. I feel not the most. It, shipping usually takes more time, but it takes a lot of the time. It'll give me a lot of time tomorrow to do my end and relist and work on item specifics when I wake up if I don't sleep in. Did a little sourcing yesterday in Seattle. I went to the Goodwill bins, which I haven't been to in like three years. And I didn't have high hopes, but holy crap, did I do good. Uh, found a vintage gun stock. While everyone's off, like searching through, like looking for snapbacks and freaking... Uh, 
you know, vintage ringer shirts. I was just like sorting through, always looking through like the bottom of the bins, pulling out vintage gun stocks that was just sitting sitting there. Hundred hundred and fifty dollar gun stock. Three three dollars and fifty cents is what it cost me. Um then I went over and looked to look at the books, and as I'm there, this guy just dumps this huge box of uh, books into the bin, and he's like, they don't usually let me do this, but for some reason, they let me do it today. Hi, Buster. And I'm like, you're getting rid of some books? And he's like, yeah, um, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'll take them. <laughs> so I did. Filled my car with a bunch of books. Some of it's good. Some of it's okay. Um, there was a few things in there that were um, essentially these like um, book and DVD courses that ended up being like 20, 30 bucks a piece. And uh, exchange information with them and uh, hopefully go pick up some more stuff too. So. I only spent like 20 bucks all day yesterday and I got, I filled my car. So not including the ferry ride. And then, um, went over and met my friend, the collector and checked out his collection, which is just astonishingly cool. Um, and I'll be going back to do a, I didn't pick this one up. I forgot to grab one of my postcards. That's okay. I hear you, Buster. Yes. Do you want treats? Is that what this is about? Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, I'm going to do this cabinet card order because it's taken up a lot of real estate on my shipping page. Sold a couple of really good, like, high dollar postcards as well, which uh, really nice whenever that happens, too. Two postcards sold for over $100 this weekend. One of the one of the cards I've had listed for almost two years, and the other one been one of those like just been sitting around for a while, and I really wasn't quite sure what to do with it or how to research it. And uh, then I kind of figured it out and was able to list it, and it sold within a week of me listing it, which is great. show those in just a minute. Oops. Okay. And one.
sold this person before. I know, right? Been probably six months. I'll be right back. Excuse me, Buster. Excuse me, Buster. Hey. Uh, our PPCs are holiday. I'll show you in a minute here the ones that did the really good ones. Strangely, I did not sell a Halloween postcard the whole month of October. Which means all the low balls will start coming in next month. Um, I'll just go ahead and pack them now. Uh, so one of them was... This one, which is a little grotesque. So if you're squeamish, uh, look away. But it's a Alaska Pacific Yukon Expo postcard. And these guys are cutting up a whale. In Alaska. There's the AYPE up there. This guy scares the crap out of me. So that was that one, and it sold for 105.
and it's actually going international to the Netherlands. Yep. Yeah, I've had some super reasonable offers this weekend. Nobody lowballing. All right, and then the other good one was... This one. And this came from the Michon auction lot I bought a year and a half ago. Let's see, like March of 2021. And it's just been sitting in my death pile ever since. This is actually a collage, handmade, hand painted. It's blank back, but it is a postcard. Old school maiden of China, early 100. Uh, if you find these, they pretty much 100% sell through over 100 bucks. I put mine at 150 and it sold in under a week. So, and it's nothing special. There's ones that are way cooler than this. I mean, it's got a big stain here. It's not even perfect. So, there you go. So yeah, that one was one fifty. And the best part, both of those, neither one was uh, sold as a promoted listing. The uh, Alaska Yukon one, I just did the change the title a little bit when I was doing item specifics on it so that it said AYPE. So I have a feeling that's what got it sold. Eight people out there. What's going on? Not bad for a Sunday night. Although, uh, Yaakov, his little listing show over there. Something. eBay is really listening to me again. Riveting content. Just Retaliating like against you right now. 
They found that you got a job at Goodwill. That's oh, why. There's Tommy, big sh big shocker. Been sending offers with messages attached. I I always send offers. I just never did a message attached to the offer. <laughs> yep, listing. I, I, it's all good. I don't need you guys chatting. I'll blab my blab myself. I don't need you to keep me entertained. I got me to keep me entertained. I will say this though that it like Sunday afternoons like sales just which is unusual. I wonder I don't think people are out trick or treating. It's too early for that, right? I saw all the kids out last night trick or treating. What? You want to say hi to the peeps? Hi. Hi, Mister. Say hi to the peeps. Show them the beans. They want to see the beans. Show them the beans. Yeah, it's like, yeah, football season two for sure. All right, so what I'm hearing, Buster, is I should sit down and ship postcards. Is that what you're trying to tell me?
Here, sit on my lap now. There we go. Um, I I have not seen any trick or treaters tonight, but last night they were out. Like, they're not only trick or treaters, but all the, uh, you know, high school slash college partiers. Remember college? I don't remember college. I was also near University of Washington, which is probably one of the reasons. All right. Should be a little bit easier now. All the way down to 47. A lot of these are postcards. I forgot to grab that one. Let's do it this way. This is, how do you like this framing here? Where it's just like the top of my head shipping. Is this good YouTube? This is good YouTube. Top of, top of head of guy shipping. Maybe that's what I should rename the channel. Top of head of guy stuffing envelopes with cat. <laughs> At tube, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> oh, shit.
I mean, I could fix it. With my reaching stick. Oh yeah, that's way better. Now it's Chiron across reseller face channel. Oh yeah, I love those. Dear Miss So-and-so eBay standard envelope tracking updates through sorting machines and not traditional scans. As such, it is not uncommon for a item to show as delivered one or two and sometimes even three days before actual delivery. There is no reason to be worried at this point. Please let me know if the item hasn't shown up by the end of next week. Get bent, Memphis Blazer. Done. turds. Oh, joy. Yeah, putting those. I had 
that happened to me a couple of years ago during Christmas for a bunch of times because transit times were all late. eBay didn't adjust their expected delivery time and people were opening cases the day it wasn't due and or the day it wasn't uh it was supposed to be delivered but wasn't and even though the usps was saying this extended handling times ebay didn't do anything about it for a while and yeah i ended up having to refund a bunch of orders i was pissed And every single one of them did end up making it there too, which is, that's the worst part. Cause I'd keep looking at the tracking and sure enough be delivered. Right, it was bullshit buster. that one Yeah, I I usually wait for deadline to, or close to it. Um, I'll respond. eBay needs needs to take away the expected delivery thing on standard envelope. They treat it like a first class package, and it's not.
Bye, Buster.
Moving right along. Might end up being a pretty damn easy shipping day tomorrow.
Be a butt. Okay, you're being you're being a little bit of a butt. You know I'm working. Ow! See, don't be a butt. I can see it thinking about biting my nose. Probably uh, not do that for a while. Ouch. Hey. I'm going to be buy uh, moving it, moving to, in as a buyer. Oh, crap. I just I forgot to grab one. Be right back. Excuse me. And that was the most crooked cutting job.
that is. There's a couple of hip postcards I gotta grab tomorrow. Who, which, by the way, they still have not resolved my issue. They, I basically gave them yesterday. I'm like. You told me I'm resynced. You didn't say anything about fees. You didn't say anything about it fixing the actual problem. Uh, and I basically said, listen, I don't have time to chase this stuff down. This should be automatic. Uh, I know you're out there trying to entice people who left the platform coming back into coming back with free months. Uh, I've been here paying my bill, spending my time. Like, you're going to make the fees right. You're going to give me the same offer you're trying to use to get sellers to come back. And, uh, or I'm out. Yes, that is true. up Cameron yeah I don't I don't think I can it doesn't it just doesn't make sense for me financially to, to do that I mean it's I am not into giving away inventory that's a that's a fact and that's basically what it what I was doing at the end there Not a bad couple of days. That's a lot of postcards going out. Could you do? All right. Let's see what are we left with tomorrow. Seventeen orders plus whatever comes in overnight. So that's pretty easy. Uh, so that's gonna be it for me tonight. Uh, oh, let's uh, let's do a quick, quick and dirty thumbnail for fun. Let's see here. Faster now. Canvas twelve eighty by seven twenty. What I like, I have an idea. Here we go. Well, we're gonna stop sharing real quick. I'm gonna do this. I need my snipping tool. Hey.
need to get out of the way here. This okay, just gonna nope. look like the there we go, like that. Then what we'll do is we're gonna go. already failed the uh, copyright claim on this one, but I'm going to steal
you think? <laughs> tomorrow's thumbnail. Kind of memeify that video a little bit. Uh, the stream that my my internet crapped out. No, I'm I'm responding to chats that happened m minutes ago. All right. Well, now I'm actually done. So uh, I'll be back tomorrow morning. Uh, hope to see you there. Sometime around 8.30 a.m. We will catch you all on the flippy flop. Peace. Good night. Now I'm gone.